Back to the action on WZDX Sports Extra. Welcome back, everyone. It's now time for another edition of the Sunday Sit Down. And joining me is Athens High grad and former Alabama basketball standout, Richard Hendricks. Rich, I know you're back from playing overseas with Lamar this past season. Tell me how did things go in the 2019 year? It was, a, it was a good year for me. I played uh, my first season in France with uh, Limon Sarth Basket. Uh, we had an up and down year, but we were able to make the playoffs. And we uh, didn't make it to the next round, but we, we fought until the end. Man, you've been on the international scene for a very long time. Talk about some of your joys through the years and just having a chance to play on that international circuit. Oh, you, you know, it's, it's been a great ride. Um, you know, I just finished my 11th season pro. I had the uh, opportunity to play in Spain, Israel, Italy, France, Turkey, Russia. Uh, you know, in my wildest dreams, I never would have thought I'd get the opportunity to, to see the world and, and do what I love to do. So uh, not just has it been a great basketball experience, but it's been a wonderful cultural experience as well. Awesome. Now coming back closer to home, you're getting ready for your annual summer camp that you'll do over at the Harvest Youth Center. I believe this will be our seventh time running our camp there. Uh, we've been able to see over the years the players and the kids get better and better and their enthusiasm for the camp to grow. So uh, we enjoy our partnership that we have with uh, the HYC and hopefully this year it can be another successful camp. Awesome. Let's talk about your alma mater now, the University of Alabama. Last time you were here we were talking about what Avery Johnson could do and now they have a brand new head coach in Nate Oates. What do you think about what he can do with the club moving forward, especially with two local guys like John Petty and Kyra Lewis Jr.? Well, you know, personally, I haven't had the opportunity to meet Coach Oates, um, nor have I met a lot of the players who are there, uh, as well as uh, Kyra Lewis. And, you know, I've watched John Petty over the years. But, you know, I'm happy to see uh, a lot of local guys, you know, playing and playing well, uh, giving it their all and giving themselves a chance to uh, make the team a, a really good team and give themselves a chance at the professional ranks in the future. Uh, as far as uh, Coach Oates is concerned, I, I'm, I have to support the university with the hires that they make. I think it actually can be uh, a really good thing uh, to have a guy that uh, has come in and has proven at Buffalo and is going to have be able to get the players on his side. If he can get them on his side, I think we can see uh, some surprises happen in the SEC. And I, I know he's a well-respected well coach. And I think that's what uh, the organization needs. When, when you have an athletic department that has a, such a successful football program, a softball program, uh, gymnastics, you know, on and on and on. Every sport down there is a national championship caliber organization. And I think the pressure is natural that, you know, you want Alabama basketball to achieve. You know, I'm hoping that he does a great job as well as the basketball team. Let's move over to the pro circuit now. The guys that chant, we the North, are the champions of the basketball world. Toronto knocking off the Golden State Warriors and ending their chances for a three-peat. Has Kawhi now put his name as far as, if not the top player, one of the top three in the league? Oh, I think he definitely cements himself at, as amongst the top players in the NBA. You know, I, it was a joy to watch him in the finals. I, you know, it probably would have been a much better series if the Warriors would have been full strength and healthy. But uh, you have to play the opponent that's in front of you. But I give a lot of credit to Kawhi Leonard and also the rest of the staff with the uh, Toronto Raptors and Nick Nurse, the head coach, who I actually played for in the D-League. Really? As a D-League All-Star back in 2009. So, um, you know, I, it, it was a lot of fun to watch the Toronto win the championship. And I think as a basketball uh, traditionalist, as I like to call myself, Kawhi Leonard brings a competitiveness and a, a supreme level of fundamentals on display at the highest level. And uh, the way that he's able to, to encourage his teammates, to mo motivate his team, to lead his team with his play and not with his actions and to, to control his demeanor and his attitude and just have that will to win uh, and be a team player, I think it's best for basketball uh, for people to see uh, the finals MVP be a guy like him and the way he carries himself. We'll wrap things up with this. Um, our phones have been blowing up all day long because today the NBA free agency period officially. What do you think? What are your thoughts about this moving and shaking? I was hoping that my phone was going to be ringing so, you know, there would be a little bit of moving and shaking on my behalf. I think I can still help out some of these teams in the NBA. And then I could have broke the story right here. <laughs> that would be great. But, uh, you know, it's definitely an interesting um, free agency period. I mean, you know, there's a lot of really good players who are going to be making a lot of movements. Uh, some of the decisions and places, you know, to me, I'm very interested to see how it's going to play out. Um, you know, there's some big time salaries and, and uh, contracts being offered here, so it makes it even more interesting. But uh, 
great players. The NBA free agency period right here is actually playing out to be just as interesting as the finals were, and I'm looking forward to uh, looking at how this plays forward in the season. Sounds good, Richard. We got Richard Hendricks in the building. want to thank you for stopping by for another edition of the Sunday Sit Down. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on WZDX Sports Extra.